So one of my sources of inspiration for my artwork is actually my mom, um, who's a woman of the 1980s. So as a kid, I grew up listening to bands like Duran Duran, The Cure, Lisa Lisa and Colt Jam, The Go-Go's, Billy Idol. Um, she would also show me movies that came out during that time period, like um, The Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Weird Science. Um, 16 Candles, and from there I kind of just had a huge um, appreciation for pop culture during that time period, so I started creating artwork based on the pop culture of that time. Um, another thing, too, is my mom is Mexican-American, so she was somewhat involved in the Chicana subculture that was going on in L.A. at that time. Um, and in that subculture, they have a very specific style of artwork, which mostly uses only pencil, um, paper, and a smudger tool. And in that artwork, um, it depicts like life of like a cholo or a chola um, in California. Um, and with that, I just kind of had an appreciation for how my mom lived and um, kind of what she did for fun in the 80s. And so that's basically what um, inspire some of my art pieces that I've created. Art is important to me because Alzheimer's runs in my family, so when I was looking it up, all the symptoms after my last grandparent passed away, I learned that one of the treatments for Alzheimer's was this sort of therapy where they bring back stuff from your adolescence that has emotional weight to it. So say they'll play songs, they'll see, they'll show you pieces of artwork that you connected to, they'll show you photos of places you used to hang out in. And so I had already had artistic inclinations. I had been in choir and I was kind of good at drawing. Um, but that's kind of when I wanted to start taking photographs and I really wanted to get into art and songwriting because I realized in the future that that could be something that saves my memory. Because I really value my memory, I wanted to create something that could fully restore not only the stimulus that I was receiving in my adolescence, but also where that stimulus and where that emotion was coming from is really important, I feel like, to restoring those memories. So through my exploration into the arts, it became more than that though. It became more than something for me to use to remember my past, but rather something to explore my future or to explore the way my emotions feel. So it's made it easier for me to process everything. And then through this, I've learned that everything is art, architecture, art, everything from a chair to like a paper clip to city design to a painting. So it's important to me because it's everywhere. And one day it's gonna save my brain. In Legally Blonde, um, just a few days before the show, I was working with one of the techs, uh, Sydney Hatanaka, backstage, and we were compiling like a list of all the props that we still needed, because it's a big, big old show, right? So we were writing on notebook paper, and we filled up two full pages, like double columns on each page, of props we still needed to get for the show, which was in like a week. And we were freaking out a little bit, but looking back on it, like, we were kind of thriving, you know? Um, there's so much that goes into a show that people don't see, and that is easily the best part of drama, is getting to see all these little, like, cogs, and then you, you see the finished product and how people react, and you're like, yeah, but did you realize we spent three hours trying to do that quick change? It started out at 10 minutes, now it's 30 seconds. You might think that's long, but that is S rank, baby. That is, that is X Games mode. Do you know what I mean? Hi, I am Claire Hayashi and I am on the South High dance team. I've always loved to move around, but I officially started dancing my freshman year of high school. Dance holds a special place in my heart because it's something I've always wanted to do. It's an art form that constantly has you pushing because quite frankly, it's impossible to master everything and become perfect. Dance keeps me on my toes and always striving for more, which is a place that I really enjoy being at. I also think dance is really, really fun and you can do it anywhere that you want to. And it's my natural instinct to do that to when a really cool song plays. So yeah, I love to dance.